Coming up next, it's a lightweight matchup between Connor, Notorious McGregor, and Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Donald Cowboy Cerrone, who has won the majority of his fights by submission. But for those who have watched Donald Cerrone fight during his career, we know how dangerous he is on his feet. His kicks are lethal. He puts together great combinations, and that often has led him to the submission finish. They call him the Cowboy, Donald Cerrone. Cerrone is very dangerous on the feet or on the ground. Solid Muay Thai, great submissions, and he's a very hard worker. He's been taken to the limit several times in championship bouts, and there is no quit in this guy. has taken the UFC by storm. In fact, he sold out the O2 Dublin in record time and is a true hero in his home country of Ireland. One of the most polarizing figures in the UFC today, the notorious one, believes that he will dominate inside the octagon for many years. Conor McGregor is one of the most creative and dynamic fighters in the UFC's featherweight division today. He is also one of the most loved fighters to ever come out of Ireland. Conor McGregor set to fight tonight here inside the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Tail of the tape for this lightweight collision. Cerrone is five years his elder. McGregor will have a one-inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Lightweight division. Introducing first, Heidi This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 31 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Wedding out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, Donald Cowboy Ferrari! And now, ladies and gentlemen, fighting at the record. Mitch Marshall on his own professional record of 20 wins, three losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at a dang win of Herb Dean, our referee. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Cerrone. Black trunks for McGregor. Conor McGregor has a very unpredictable striking style. Throws a lot of wild kicks, has some excellent knockout power in his punches, and has a very strong ground game as well. And he continues to mix up his strikes. Oh, he got caught there. You can hear head coach Greg Jackson in the corner of Cerrone, encouraging him to relax. Oh, another powerful kick by McGregor. Nice jab. They have started this fight off with a brawl. Jab. He's fired up. In half guard now. We are back in the half guard again. Let's see what he can do from here. Cerrone got caught by that left. He postures up. Moves back to full guard now. Nice work from the bottom. 
He's going after an arm. He's controlling the forearm. Almost had the armbar. McGregor with the punch to connect. He's going to try to take the back, I think. It was a beautiful job setting up that submission, and once he got it, the fight was over. Time now for our fight replay. And we see here, as soon as this arm bar gets locked in, there is no escape. Perfect technique, tremendous pressure. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 2 minutes, 17 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar. Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Donald Cowboy Cerrone, winner by submission.